Hello and welcome back for another episode of Craven Some Raven. Uh, this is going to be my weekly game picks, dick picks for week 10. I didn't record one last week just because I didn't, so it's fine. We'll go over what went down last week and then maybe even the week before. I don't know because I didn't go over it for two weeks, I guess. So we'll get into what it. What happened last week? But, uh,. I'm joined actually by a special guest, <laughs> and we'll get into what happened last week because I'm joined by my buddy, Nicolas, who is uh, a Patriots fan himself. So, it's a disease. Yeah, well, we will be Being sure. Being a football Are fan is okay? a disease. Oh, Are you great. Okay? Oh, by Thursday, <laughs> I'm actually too confident. No, you said it's a disease, man. No, it is a like... disease. Being a sports fan, it, this is all just pain. It's, it's, it's just a. Well, you know how they say Spain. alcoholism is a disease, you know, so is sports. Yeah, sports, it, the same it's, thing, it's like, something... Is it? It's something you're... No, 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 it's kind of like, you know how you're identified early for like five or whatever, for like autism? <laughs> yeah, this kid's got patriots. <laughs> oh. Not just that, sports. <laughs> he's, got, kid's, he's got... He's a fanatic. I have bad news. Your kid is a sports fan. <laughs> Your kid's got sports. <laughs> and it's going to live with him his whole life. His entire life, and there's no cure that we know of. <laughs> only wins will be able to satiate. Yeah, him. <laughs> only literally the actually there is a cure. More winning <laughs> wins. Wins winning, will cure your child. Winning and more winning. <laughs> but I didn't enjoy that this week. So we are recording this after that Thursday night game. Um, so we're getting these picks out after the game. 1-0, and we, oh, baby. Yeah, we both had Oakland in this game. You said you were thinking Chargers all day, but then, like, your your mind, the universe uh, yeah, told you, the, yeah. hey, don't be a fucking idiot. Don't pick the Chargers. Don't pick the Chargers. <laughs> don't bet on Phillip Rivers. No, 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 yeah. Well, for me, I was going back and forth, and one thing that helped is I was like, oh, who's the home team? Mm-hmm. Figure that out, and then I remember what was... Like, I'm sure so many people, the Packers win last week. I was like, is this the start of something? Or the Chargers I'm starting to turn around? But then I was like, no, 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 no. Chargers, Titans, these guys have bipolar issues. Mm -hmm. Serious bipolar issues. Has anyone, like, they are in L.A. I would think they have really good doctors around there, right? You'd think. A lot of good plastic surgery. But yeah. that's only that can only fix well, I mean, the surface. So are they fake? Are are the Chargers just plastic surgery where it's like hot for a minute and then you really look deeper? Exactly. I think they're really, uh, really just going off of being in LA. I think they they really fit the mold well yeah. because you know once the chick hits thirty it's in LA, fake. they're done. So it's once fake, dude. the Philip Rivers, you know he's too old. He's out of it now. It's yeah. it's kind of that whole. You got to start getting plastic I, surgery. You got to fix this team on the surface. I. I really think I'm gonna go in a deep wormhole of how many games has Philip Rivers thrown the game losing interception. It's got to be astonishing, right? It's got to be up in the millions. And he the he's a Lord guy, like he's one of the Lord's dudes. Why is he burning him like this? Well, I think the team prayed. The other team prayed harder. I think the Raiders. You oh, know, okay. I think their God sense. liked him a little bit more. He's kind of more of a Gruden guy. He <laughs> likes Gruden yeah. prayers because I I would get that too because like a Gruden prayer would be a lot more like this quick and not kiss assy. I feel like Philip Rivers is a real kiss ass. All right, got him. I need a uh, I'm gonna need a hail mary. I'm gonna need a prayer right here. I got you, Gruden. You're my boy. Just God, just don't give me a heart attack today. You can kill me tomorrow. Just let me play Sunday. Uh, who is that running back? And then he Mike says, Allstatt. you know how they say like. Uh, prayer one out of the book it's like matthew 316 or whatever he's like saying it like it's a play call and uh <laughs> go ahead and uh, we'll go luke 426 spider two, <laughs> like, banana, banana, book of job, job, book of job <laughs> on Is job a book on luke know. 15 <laughs> just sounds right <laughs> on luke 15 set <laughs> luke 15 luke 15 huh? <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure Carr, he's all up in, in the faith, right? Isn't yeah. he? I mean, good for them, but uh, yeah. that's they prayed harder tonight. As long as God's on your side, you will win. Because he threw Fuck four skill. interceptions. Mm -hmm. Three to the same guy, one that didn't hey, count. God works in mysterious ways. It's great. <laughs> mysterious fucking ways. For every ways. pick, yeah, Philip Rivers Rivers has a child, yet. you know? For every, you know, Damn there's near. a blessing Game for Game losing pick. Because yeah. that's, 
pretty. What's the ratio of game losing picks to children he has? Should be like one. Like per one. season. Should be. See this. We can go crazy with these saber metrics. Like the saber metrics. <laughs> Hit up PFF. <laughs> we gotta yeah. know. Yeah. Why isn't Chris Collinsworth looking like really into this S- shit? Sperm count to pick ratio. I don't know. It's there's something there. I think Either way, we, we're both one and no. We need to hit up. We need to hit up the nerds because there's there's got to be some explanation. But uh, yeah, the numbers are there. So know. do you want to pick these games first, or should we should we look over what happened last week? Because Just do the I recap think real quick. I think there's only one game that we should talk about. Because I yeah. haven't really talked to you since yeah. I didn't watch the game with you. I, I kind of wanted to, but at the same time, I was like, that's too much. It's too much to handle. I just want to watch this game and oh, yeah. be nervous on my own. Oh, that's what I I've debated all day. I, I was like, do I hit Steven up? And then I was like, actually, we've watched these games before together. And it's, it's and too it stressful. never ends well. Get out of like, my face, bro. <laughs> like, because neither one of us is going to, like, one of us is going to be miserable and the other one's going to be way too happy. And, like, I told you. And the other one's going to be like, told you, bro. Be like, I'm going to fucking kill myself and everybody. This is, I fucking hate everything. <laughs> I'm going to drive my truck through a <laughs> marathon. marathon. Yeah. <laughs> See how many people Easily. I Easily. I'm going to pick up my kids and go into the lake. This is the yeah. worst. Get out the window. The fucking pants <laughs> lost. lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Edelman fumble six. This is bullshit. <laughs> going so, and just going in the lake. All right. So I want I want to hear your thoughts because no, I I've I want to hear this your thoughts I want to I want to hear the winners. Thoughts. I think this was a thumping. Um, I I think the score That's was not what it's what it, it what it looked like. You know the score it was deceiving, right? I was looking for the word. I think the score should have been a lot worse. There were a lot of Ravens uh, turnovers that they don't that they normally don't do. Uh, and I know you're gonna say uh, same thing with the Patriots, but. I have a theory, you know, the way the Patriots were running their offense, that game, up-tempo, hurry-up the entire game besides that first drive, you know, what the hurry-up gives you is it gets the defense really tired. And you could see our defenders getting really tired, and it allowed the Patriots to just start moving the ball. Uh, like Once they started going hurry-up, they could just move the ball. You could see the defense towards the end of the drive just getting more tired and more tired and more tired. And then what that also does, though, too, it also tires out the offense, and so you know Edelman fumbles, and it's like why he ne- he never fumbles, right? He's a great wide receiver, but he years. he was tired as fuck. And he was mm-hmm. feeling the hurry up offense, and so you you saw that that mistake, and it was almost caused by their own somewhat play calling. Yeah. And I think this is just uh, the Lamar Jackson show. You know, the best defense coming in, the defense on a historic. Oh, yeah. On a like you you were talking about it, the defense was on a historic rate. I mean, other people were talking about it, but you know, just talking in person with you, mm-hmm. they were on pace to like beat the two thousand Ravens and everything. Uh, but you know, people failed to realize that the Ravens were are also on a historic pace to break the all time team rushing rushing record. Rushing record. No one's They're ever on pace. Adds two on in, in the yeah. in the first sixteen games of Lamar's career, they've already because he's now played sixteen games. Yeah, he they've they've beaten that record. They and they've been averaging over 200 yards of rushing. So when I was talking on the podcast, it was, you know, this is the classic unstoppable force meets an immovable object, and the unstoppable force won. And obviously, it's not that you know black and white uh, with with the Ravens' offense and the Patriots' defense. But you know, a lot of the talk, who have the Patriots played? And they finally play a good team, and the results are what they were. I just hope you're not one of these Patriots fans where it's enjoy your fucking Super Bowl, like have fun with the win, and if it is, and I'd like to hear it. Well, I mean, I could go into the, like the past things about people making the mistake of the picture, but I don't really care about that. What what picture? Oh, the picture they took at the end of the game, the Ravens. They do that after every game they win, though, so it's like nothing new then. So that's cool. I didn't even know that. Um. Yeah, I honestly don't give a shit about that. But what I like about this loss is everything, when I thought the Ravens win, this is how they win, every way that they won is exactly what happened. Our O-line, because so fucking injured, and our left tackle isn't around, got exposed. Run defense. Things that I'd seen in the past show up in other games where we're dominating, but we're up by so much, got exposed. And honestly, I fucking kind of love it. 
the Patriot. All right, this is where the sickness of a Patriots fan comes in. We like don't lose that often, and then when we do, it actually turns into really like good yeah. shit. Makes me feel and bad what, for the uh, the Eagles you guys <laughs> got coming out of the bye. Bye. So one thing I'm excited about is the things that were worrisome got exposed and blasted. And I think even Belichick probably is sick in the mind and likes this too. Yeah, he probably wanted that game, but he also probably wanted a reason to just rip this team. But what I did love out of it is they showed resiliency. Mm-hmm. They got back in that game. And and if you think about this, the offense is destroyed on the O-line, and we are gluing together our wide receiving core every week. Every fucking week it's being glued together. Muhammad Sanu just came in. Already being clutched in elements, and Edelman was due for a mistake. The dude is a fucking all timer. No Patriots gonna be mad about that. Fucking happens. But the way I loved it is that that was the game right there. The, there was two backbreakers where the Pats actually had a chance to take this game. It was Edelman's fuck up happens. That was an eleven point swing. Instead of us going up twenty to seventeen, go up twenty four thirteen. Mm-hmm. that's the game right there and the way you guys were moving the ball but if we go up by that three it's a way different game and then the second was james white tripping and not getting that score so i mean they're you mi- tripping like their miscues what i really like about it there was like four things out of the loss that i've seen before like in the chiefs loss in 2014 really loved it was the resiliency to come back uncharacter characteristic shit that they will definitely fix and um what was the last point i was thinking about they um yeah mostly just like came back oh they're gluing together like a lot of pieces Mm -hmm. and they showed they're doing that on the fly and continue to do that but they're also they will run the ball a little bit i still like that you guys destroyed our run defense which was nice because that was getting blasted it's our secondary which is great Mm-hmm. Run defense needs a fuck ton and of work. So like, also, Lamar was amazing. Yeah. That one play where he just got out of the sack and then moved up. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just amazing. And, yeah. And, and I talked about it where it takes, you know, as a Ravens fan, you know, we watch every single play. But a lot of people, a lot of football fans, they don't watch every single play. I mean, yeah. I can't watch every single play of everybody. I, I'll watch Red Zone. We tried to. We, we damn near tried. Major NFL fans. And, you know, sometimes it takes. You know your team playing a certain team to really watch a player because you get to see him down in down out and so Lamar to do this up against uh, the Patriots you know one of the best franchises mm-hmm. in history it's probably never going to be done again uh, yeah. like what the Patriots have done this past 20 years um, to do it up against them uh, at home in on Sunday night um, we haven't big hosted, win it was a big win we haven't hosted a Sunday night game since I think the last time we played the Patriots on Sunday night yeah. when, when we hosted I think in 2012. And honestly, That's I think we had that it. long. Yeah, I, and shit. I think the reason for that is I think the Ravens kind of got punished because I don't know if you remember there was that uh, they started chanting bullshit like so loud that they, they could like not pick it up. Like it, it, they were just chanting bullshit for so so long and so loudly that I think ev like the the network was like, all right, let's like if the if the Ravens you know they have to have a Sunday night game, it, it's not going to be at home. Like what they've done, at it's, the it's Steelers. not okay. Yeah, it's it's always at another, at yeah. another, uh, uh, whatever stadium. But, but I mean, what I like, what I really liked is the the Ravens. They only had two drives in the second half. Both one totaling like eight minutes, oh, one yeah, totaling no. like nine so minutes. They just that was the ran fun chess the match of the game. Is in the second quarter, Pats did the same thing. Where it was like, all right, we're gonna dominate the time of possession. And just keep them because you guys were crushing it, and I loved that. And then you guys ended up doing reverse that at halftime. Harbaugh, like, not, not this loss did not surprise me one bit. It's Pat's Ravens, you guys are a true Patriots rival in the AFC, have a history of beating them. Harbaugh has a history of fucking winning, and honestly, I think it's gonna be in someone's Super Bowl DVD video, and definitely not the purple team. <laughs> so, the cat on the field, no, uh. Even yeah. though that was a different game on Monday night, yeah. but I know. like I Monday you're talking to me, I wanted to fucking smash my head through a window. <laughs> but it's Thursday. We, we but it's Thursday, time. and I honestly, 
when I tie it all together, oh, right before the bye week too. Oh, and we're at eight and one, basically in the playoffs. So as long as I mean a hiccup here or there, you guys might be able to take the one seed. Fine, whatever. I don't give a fuck about that shit. We're looking at the one or two seed, a bye already, and uh, things are pretty nice. Yeah, this is, this was such a great narrative game with like all the different through lines. You know, the Belichick versus versus John Harbaugh, not just going against each other, but there were like a ton of records, kind of like uh, Bill Belichick versus uh, like quarterbacks twenty five and under. There was a streak there. Um, See, I that one I didn't think applied to this time because our record against running quarterbacks is terrible. Yeah, and but historically there, but it's terrible. But there's also tons of things. There's uh, Belichick before going into a bye. I don't think he's ever lost. Uh, Ooh, even better. John That's Harbaugh. A stat I love even yeah, better. It's so random. Oh, John Harbaugh so coming out of a bye is that. Got so like that two was a, that was another thing that like it all just factored. Like NFL says. Mm-hmm. Ravens win this game. You guys are coming out of a bye. Because Prove a lot it of people... game. This is like, yeah, the, you say the uh, Seahawks was like the first prove it game, but this is the real, like, we're fucking here legit contenders. Because they're, they're def- the, the Patriots are definitely timeline, conceived yeah. as the best team, and so now the Ravens beat them. And yeah, it's like, exactly. well, how good are the Patriots? <clears throat> I'm not you guys, worried about that shit. Now in the in the media, you guys have been dropped to our level. Yeah. Or, oh, we we got our stink on you. These are the media is stupid. They're painting us as underdogs again. It's amazing. They're feeding right into it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Like they don't give any credit Ugh. to or they don't give any credit to the Patriots or the Ravens for this win. It just kind of happened. The only then... thing I'm worried about is the Super Bowl is in Miami. We don't play that well in Miami. Ravens kill it in Miami. So I'm I'm all about it. We started well, our season there. It's only going to it's only perfect. Last time we went to the Super Bowl, we beat the Pats in primetime really at home. I really like our chances <laughs> against you guys in the playoffs. I, I like our chances against I you in the playoffs. Really, really what is like Belichick going to do different? We don't lose to a team twice in the season. Uh, the except season. you guys are also 3-6 and six in the playoffs versus teams that you lost to in the regular season, and you play again in the playoffs. We'll get you guys again. 3-6. and six. I mean, if, if you're going off of history... That's a statement. That's fair players. enough. All right, that's a, teams, that's a true stat. And but one of the teams to do it is, is the Ravens. The Ravens. I remember. I remember in 12. But you guys also won that regular season game off of bullshit. That kick was good. Do you remember that was the game yeah. where it, like, fucking... And that's one thing that I liked about this game, where there was no bullshit. There, it that's was true. a straight-up game that happened. How many well, there times was have bullshit. we seen throughout Edelman's the NFL? Fumble and nah, but that was, that was a tripping. great play by the Ravens. Just admit it. Fumble it's okay. and tripping. Those and leading plays. up leading up to the game, uh, a lot of people who were, you know, you were saying that th- there were so many reasons why the Ravens would win, but everyone was still saying that the Pats would win just because Bill Belichick... Really? I was hearing Ravens all week. I was hearing a lot of people say, maybe it's just the YouTube selects, they want you to get mad, so they, they make you listen to the videos that say your team's going to lose, but... Uh, I guess um, I listened to more Fox than ESPN, but Fox people were all fucking Ravens biased. See, and then after the game, the same, like, FS1 speak for yourself. They're like, I was more impressed by the Patriots. What? How does that make sense? But, like, the, the reason the Patriots were going to win, what I heard, is, oh, Bill Belichick, he, what he does is takes away what your team does well. And I believe that. He does that, right? That's his calling card. And Not so running quarterbacks. Yeah, so it's he's going to take away the run game. And you see, he tried. There, there was... They stacked a ton of people in the box. They played zero coverage yeah. tons of time. And so it's what are they going to do differently? The best plays I saw the Ravens do were, is when they let a guy actually come through on purpose mm-hmm. and then attack that side. Those play calls were That's, awesome. They do that each and every week. They even did it with Jadavion Clowney a bunch of times. Like, yeah, come on through, man. Well, let's move on to the next week. I really don't give a shit anymore about last week. It's the past. It's we're the, the new. It's we're we already into new week. We are one and zero each. So week ten. Uh, I like the Raiders this week. Yeah, I got the Raiders as well. Oh look, we won that one. What do you know? <laughs> we didn't lie. We had these picks in beforehand, so you you can't you can't can't lie or you can't uh, be mad. I've at got us. the text. <laughs> um, so next, let's just move on to the Ravens, just because that's the way they they had it listed. Uh, Ravens at the Bengals, you know, come, Ravens coming off that big win. Is this the letdown? Teams are pretty bad after they beat the Patriots. 
incredibly bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's the Bengals. You guys probably win. I'm not gonna bet against that. <laughs> yeah, no, the Bengals a, are trash. I'm also taking the Ravens, yeah, and a, there's I'm not. Yeah, I'd like be an idiot asshole to <laughs> pick the Bengals. Bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's a conspiracy. They're gonna do it, man. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Stat. Trump's gonna tweet about it after and... after. <laughs> And then it'll, I would actually rather lose that one anyway. <laughs> the bank. Dude, Aren't they, didn't they pull Andy Dalton? Andy Dalton's yeah, the, yeah, Andy Dalton's not even playing. Oh, man. Would that um, bum you out a lot? If they lost, AJ Green's not even playing. It, yeah. Dude, do you know how, how much that would suck? I would After beating die. the Pats? I'm quitting the podcast. After dude. beating the Pats, that would, dude, that would. I would think that would be worse, like, than actually beating the Pats. But, you know, I don't think that this team kind of falls for that sort of shit. I mean, anytime Lamar has a yeah, good game, no, they're not. he I wears know. a shirt that says, uh, nobody cares, work harder. That's his mentality. I think it's well, John Harbaugh's Well, I mean, Harbaugh's he wears shirt. a shirt, so it's got to be... It, so you know it's true. Man, I mean, <laughs> does anyone else in the NFL wear motivational shirts? <laughs> Nothing I can think of. Nothing like play hard, work hard? No, no, no. That's, Nothing. No. no one else does, no. so that's all... Lamar Jackson's original. Wow, but I think I, I think the Ravens are a, a franchise that doesn't fall for that kind of bullshit. Um, they, you know, where it's a lot of talk. You know, this is your Super Bowl win. I've, I've just heard like a lot of Pats fan kind of they they like to jump in on the Ravens Reddit and say shit like this. So I'm kind of hitting you with it, eh. and you may not. I think mean, the it's same the thing. the history is there to back it up. Like this is. This was our Super Bowl win, and, and I get that. I feel like a lot of teams feel that way when they play the Patriots just because they don't have Super Bowl wins. So that is that is their Super Bowl win. We, The Ravens have I'm just thinking of, like, the Steelers last year when they had, like, a late uh, pick to win the game, and they, like, framed it and nicknamed it the pick. Did they really? Yeah, and, like, blasted it. And then, like, the Dolphins, who weren't really, like, playoff contenders but that miracle win was like like the the history is there of like seeing teams live it up jacksonville last year week two when they were still relevant before they went down the drain so yeah no i get the shit talkers thing but that's all dumb you guys won fair and square yeah. Just stop bitching and, this and is, move on. Like This is the Bengals. They, our our running offense is too good. Last time Lamar played him, he ran for like 150 yards. Yeah. They don't have a defense If a Pats hang. fan is like, they should be like how I'm feeling. They should be fucking optimistic going into this future. Our future is bright. It's the first time I'd seen a loss in 323 days by the Patriots. Now, obviously, a lot of that's off season, But to give you a perspective of how long it had been since I felt that, it's a long. I mean, here's three sixty five. Three hundred and twenty three days. The Pats were all dubs. So yeah, we're fucking due for it. This is the NFL. Move the fuck on. Let's get it. All right. So let's move on to the next game. Chiefs at the Titans. I, I don't know if you saw that uh, video of uh, Mariota catching passes from Tannehill. We got a new wide receiver. <laughs> God damn it. <dude. laughs> fucking hate the titans they are so they are a drunk white girl from tennessee mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to predict their behavior e each night i mean chicks drunk on whiskey that's something that's a man's drink. and wine <laughs> yeah just whiskey well no one day she's drinking wine one day she's drinking whiskey tennessee whiskey yeah <laughs> country music and this whiskey. is kind of tough because um uh, Still Matt Moore's playing, right? Is, yeah. I don't, is Mahomes coming back? I mean, if he comes back this game, that'd be kind of a waste, right? Just give him another week. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just picking it's the Chiefs. still Chiefs, Chiefs yeah. yeah. I'm picking the Chiefs away. What you got? Oh, yeah, Chiefs. Chiefs. I you don't want to go crazy me. with the uh, Titans? Like I said, their bipolarness it drives me crazy, and I can't fucking nail it, so just root against them. <laughs> yeah, right. Always root against the drunk chick. <laughs> yeah. She, she the, the drunk chick, she can't even handle She's elevated surfaces. She's yeehawing so. <laughs> way too early. Yeehaw! It's 7.30 at the bar. Stop yeehawing. She's going to get on the mechanical bull. <laughs> Chief's going to come out and hunt her. <laughs> but then me. there's other weeks like when they destroyed uh, the, the Browns and they destroyed someone else mm -hmm. in an upset earlier this year where it's like, damn, yeah. she's hot and fun. 
Oh, wow, she's cool. She's really cool. She's got a great personality. personality. <laughs> Fun time. No, no. We're going Chiefs. Yeah, so this this next game, Cardinals at Bucks. I, I don't know how to fucking pick this. I mean, just like James Winston, he doesn't know how to pick this. How many is he throwing? I mean, how many picks? Three a game, right? Is his, but then his he throws one. none Yes, last, last yeah, week. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell, man? And yeah. they still lost, so... And the Cardinals, they're kind of. I they I miss. like the Cardinals. I yeah. mean, I don't think they're going to do anything they've, special this they've year. They've been but way impressive. better than impressive. I thought they were going to be. They're way better. I mean, Cliff and fucking um, Murray have shown that. Spread them and throw it. They're. I don't know if it's going to win a title, but it fucking works in the NFL. It's kind of. It's kind of like uh, what Chip Kelly wanted to do when he came in. Mm-hmm. But we're actually seeing it now. Yeah, so I'll pick the Bucks. You going Bucks? <laughs> I'm gonna Bucks. I'm gonna go Cardinals. But also keep in mind that I've only gotten a Bucks game right once, and that was last week. So yeah, I'm also in a, on a streak. <laughs> also, Bucks are a roller coaster Florida girl for me. Yeah, it's it's like which is which is worse, drunk a Florida girl or a Tennessee girl? Tennessee girl. Crazy on I I don't know. Got got to bless them all though. Let him do that. God one. bless him. <laughs> See, like, a, I imagine a drunk Florida girl, she's more likely to show you her tits That's on true. purpose. Just but for a fun. Tennessee girl, she does Just it by fun. accident, by, like, tripping and falling. I don't know. That makes more sense. That actually makes perfect the sense. The Florida chick is more so likely to steal a yeah, jet ski. Yeah, yeah. Also, because there go, aren't jet skis in Tennessee. And, like, but. Yeah, just rave all weekend. Woo! And go crazy. I yeah. go to... Or what is what is Ultra Central? All, yeah, I go yeah. Central Florida. Florida. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hell yeah, you do. Hell <laughs> yeah. James Winston, baby. I gave James Winston crabs. <laughs> you can steal these lobsters. <laughs> yeah, was it lobsters? I don't know. Yeah, what was One the thing with the... something that goes <laughs> <laughs> something with clippers or with some yeah some clouds. All right, so next we got the battle of the New York or the battle of the Jerseys. We got the Giants at uh, the Jets, which so is many, just a home game for so many garbage teams in the NFL. This league is trash. Like it seems like there's a huge disparity this, <laughs> this year, more than most. I don't trash. know, if, or there's more trash teams than there. Normally I say are. that lovingly. I, like, are there more trash teams than there normally are? If, normally, it's like one or two, right? I feel like it's more middle of the pack. Like, it, and even some of the bad teams are like, like even the Browns, who are a bad team. They might beat someone some week too. Like yeah. they're a decent pick, but yet still looking like a dumpster fire. Dumpster true fire. and true. Like the yeah. definition. The Bucks, like we were saying. Yeah. What, what's going on? It's a on dumpster there? fire that pulls out W's. That you're like, but I mean, you got like the Jets, the Bengals, yeah. the Dolphins, the um, the Redskins. All like all four of these teams. It's like they're they're going for Tua, or they're going for Threea. They're going yeah. for Fora. I don't know. They're Five-a. going. Yeah, they're going for, for Fiva. Dude, five is gonna kill, kill it in the league, kill dude. Him. He's coming to the Dolphins, bro. <laughs> five to the Dolphins, dude. Fuck, this is a tough one. The Jets look terrible, man. Dude. I'll go on Giants. Yeah, I'm gonna go Giants too. Of the I... dumpster fire, that one is got gasoline on it. <laughs> fire. There's a fireworks stand right next to it and a propane tank. Like this season is telling me note to self. Next it's season, it's got an Adam. Don't let Gaze, the it's Adam, gas? Adam Gase. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this season with the Jets is telling me next season, hey, any Jets hype you hear, just remember, they're the New York market. They're going to get a ton of hype no matter what. Like, but there was some decent hype about it. I mean, they drafted a lot of defensive dudes that we thought wouldn't pan out. And they got Darnold, Le'Veon, like, Gase is supposed to be like this fucking QB like but why do you think that because of the New York market I don't know I think it, it's just a conspiracy theory I mean cause I feel felt the same way right and then yeah. they're just this dumpster fire I think this just happens in the NFL every year I think this someone is just NFL. doesn't show up yeah I think and then it all hey, of a sudden the... unravels out of nowhere Guys, we're supposed to start the thing where are the Jets where are they show starting yo Jets where you at it's like they had movie tickets and they're just like, all right, we'll be there like mid previews <laughs> and then miss the previews and then you're just chilling there waiting for them and they're Halfway already through the fucking movie. movie. What'd I miss? 
bro. I... No, no. By then they're like, dude, I don't think yeah. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, let's just stay home. <laughs> they got in a fight in the parking lot too. <laughs> you know, it's drove a, all the way there. And it's a gay couple. So. Yeah. Brutal fight. So their fight, you can't even like say, hey, whoa, stop it. They are dumb. Yeah. They're allowed to fight in public. Gage, pick a new team. Pick a new team, bro. Hey, Gage, remember when you told me the Ravens weren't shit and Lamar Jackson wasn't going to do well this year? Ha! Ha! I've told you, bro. I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying. I've been telling everybody on the podcast, but they didn't already know. Really? Yeah. It's weird. It's I've like, never heard, one, heard you once hype this dude up. Lamar Jackson? Dude. <laughs> never even heard his name. All right, well, let me give you my Honestly, spiel. <laughs> I don't even... Sounds like a nobody, so we can just move on to the next game. Lamar Jackson. No, nah, I know. I know. I, I overdo it. Every single episode, I do an obligatory Is Lamar he that dude episode. that we killed with ISIS? No, that was Javar Jackson. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't follow the news that much. J- Jamal uh, yeah. Ali Jackson. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Different guy. <laughs> different, way different guy. Too. Okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, so next game we got is the Dirty Birds, the Falcons versus the Saints. The rivalry game. Yeah, the Falcon, another trash team. Oh, we didn't even mention this. Yeah, I forgot. Fire. That's how bad they God, are. God, they year. are so bad at they, football. They're the most disappointing team. Out of I this hate whole, the Falcons. Out of this whole season. You know, I almost want to put the Jets there, but I feel it's Falcons. Like you could have they seen take, it coming. Yeah. But the Falcons, it's like they're they're getting their defense back, right? They Dude. were just in the Super Bowl, and that like two three years ago. What was it? Like, just a couple of weeks ago, their wide receiving core was Ridley, Julio Jones, and Sanu. That's with Freeman. It's top end, like top five. That's a you can't ask for more than that with Hooper at tight end. Fuck you, Falcons. That combo would win you fuck fantasy in you. like 2015, 2016. Yeah. Like that would have won you fantasy. Yeah, man, go fuck yourselves, Atlanta. Dan Quinn. You have no balls. You lost your balls, dude. Atlanta got all that Marvel money. I guess they film all those movies in Atlanta. I think maybe that has something to do with it. I think there's a that Walking line, Dead money conspiracy. There's something there. All that film money. I don't know. They just stopped caring about the team. I don't think Georgia. I think all Georgia teams are cursed because they're just bad at a lot of things. So the Hawks suck. Do you think um, Georgia football blew it? So, speaking of Georgia football, do you think, because Jake Frum comes out, do you think the Falcons, first of all, are looking for a QB, and would they take Jake Frum and be the Georgia, Georgia he savior? Does digress Probably. this year? But it terribly? would be perfect for the Falcons. God, I, th- that would be what they do. Ugh. Terrible. No, they need to go get, well, I mean, there I is mean, a, a next. They need to find fucking the next running QB, bring back that Michael Vick shit. Mm-hmm. He's it's fun working, again. Man. Because offensive I line, they, I think they, the reason it's working even they, better than it They just needed to should. blow it all up. Because offensive line play, it's just not the same as what it used to be. Julio needs to get the fuck out of there. That dude... He just signed a major uh, deal, we, right? Someone take that on, please, dear God. Right. <laughs> take him to the Browns. That'll be exciting. And fuck <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. That'll Somewhere away from this fire fucking dumpster shit Falcons team. The more each week I grow more and more hatred for I don't know why. Falcons. I I think it's cuz I don't respect them for blowing a 28 to 3 lead. How can anybody respect that? You can't You've respect got, that. You were born with sports. So yeah, I have, How can anybody it, respect this? It's it's no cure. You're triggering my Not disease. even a charity walk. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking freaking me out here. I got the shakes. Freaking out! You blew a twenty-eight to the three Falcons. lead. The Falcons. Think I'm very happy they did because like I can yeah, sleep easy at night. Because imagine if they like finished that, they should have won that game forty-two to ten. Mm-hmm. That's the reason Shanahan, his offense now is like we ain't letting up. Yeah. Like, we're deep Never. into the fourth quarter, we're scoring touchdowns because he's All still hurt. He's still hurt. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, this Falcons team. I imagine you're going with the Saints. We didn't even talk about the Saints once. <laughs> Fuck them too. <laughs> Drew Brees is coming back. They yeah, titties whatever. in the street. Mardi Fine. Gras. It's the Saints. They're gonna fucking win it. They, I'm glad they got the titties in the streets and the. Give me your beads. Towns. Yeah, the Falcons are gonna be just. They're also never gonna beads. win another one with Brees. I think I've accepted that. Nah, he's one and done. Because if they couldn't win it, like these past two years. 
even before that, when they were like fourteen and two. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah. Nah. They definitely were even. They're gonna be good. They're not gonna win it. I think they get to the NFC Championship again. Yeah, probably lose it. <laughs> probably at home. <laughs> it's, he breaks. Yeah. Breeze breaks both his thumbs. He's gonna throw a game losing interception that no one talks about and blames the fucking pass interference call that happens in every fucking game. Do you think they would overturn that this year? Yeah, I mean that that was bad. This is the only reason the rules in it. They created a rule because of it because the NFL got so much backlash. Now, are the refs doubling down and sticking it to everyone else and be like, we're not overturning shit? We're not doing that, We're bro. a bond. We're a band of brothers, dude. We fucking don't turn over you shit. You look like you just got out of prison. It's like an old school prison. prison. Shut, the shut the fuck up. up. Yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus, it's clearly fucked up, yeah. But Drew Brees blew that game. He's probably going to throw another game losing pick. Probably. He's probably going to throw it to Philip Rivers in the weird twist of events. I don't While Philip fumbles it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be like this whole wall kind yeah, of play. Best play ever. Uh, so next game, we got the Bills at the Brown. We got the double Bs going at it. The Browns coming off of like the worst loss I think this I've seen this whole like year. This like a Browns win. And then the this Bills smells like it. are somehow 6-2. and two. I guess they also have a pretty decent record uh, and pretty easy schedule they just lost to the eagles right and then they had a bye and i'm not too high on the eagles so i don't know I don't when know. i see the bills i don't see a good team but the record says Go they're, fuck yourself. they're they're the classic sound fundamental team where run the ball their defense is aggressive as fuck they're, they actually have legit defense when the Pats played them, that was the first team that scared the shit out of me. They probably should have won that game. That was a close one. Um, I mean, they're the better team. But this just sounds like, I, man, this is tough. Browns just got blown out, too. And Broncos, I'm going with the Browns. Going with the Browns? To me, Baker Mayfield burnt his brownies in the kitchens like it is <clears throat> this is just a dumpster fire Ooh, how like, long did you practice that line that was good she came up with it like forever ago but, you know, it's like, just breaking it up now <laughs> yeah, i feel like it's it dusted out, out yeah. you know, whip out the old notes you know fuck yeah <clears throat> no I, I, I think i've said it on here before but um yeah it's i can't pick the browns not after what i saw them do i'm going with the bills okay oh yeah i mean like they're the better team, and they, they should win. Um, just but, is yeah, something... I see what you're saying, though. This is I, I understand the idea. It makes no sense, but it makes sense. Like This is the perfect time. It's like picking, like going against the Chargers pick for this yeah. week. It's like, well, I mean, I, it seems like they would Football, win. science, you know, I mean, the disease. This is the disease talking. It has that itch, yeah. and it's like, it, it's like a worm that gets into your brain. Like it just fucking forces it on you weird tumor worm i, I mean know. that's just that's the sports that's picking the browns that's, that's, it. that's picking the browns i got a disease side effects <laughs> choosing the browns to win <laughs> call your doctor if this happens, <laughs> happens to, to you, you. <laughs> yeah be concerned uh doc i, uh, I picked the browns all right i'm, I'm gonna need to see you <laughs> right now we need to take some x-rays <laughs> jam it again <laughs> honey i don't feel good Picking the Browns. This is the fifth time in two months. I'm running out of medication for this man. <laughs> you roam in the streets. It's got me. It's like the, the zombie disease or something. Give me another one. Inject me. Let's go. All right. So next we got the Lions at Bears and Tigers. Oh, my. Oh my. Um, we didn't even acknowledge the Bears dumpster fire. Yeah. <laughs> How many dumpster, dumpster fires, fires are in this league? And it's not like they're okay. That's why I mean, they're just dumpster fires. I think we've named like seven. Dump- all right, let's. That's a right. fucking fourth of the league. Yeah. So Browns dumpster fire, Jets dumpster fire, Falcons dumpster fire, Dolphins dumpster fire. Even though they won. Skins. Bengals. Skins. Bears. Bears. That is seven fucking teams, and I imagine Jesus. we're missing one. Yeah, we're gonna find another one in here. <laughs> yeah. That's just what smoldering. Fuck? Just what the, the fuck? fuck is going on? What the fuck? Get it together. NFL. The what? the way it's designed is for everybody to go eight and eight. Like the way the rules are, the way like the draft works. But this is why the NFL is fun because it matches up just garbage. It just works out perfectly. Like 
Giants Jets week 10 like when we started the season Woo! we wouldn't have known it would have just been a dumpster fire that we've got to watch mm-hmm. I've got to watch that game I'm pretty sure the the Bengals and the Dolphins play like week 17 or no 16 No one wins this games you just have to like like so both like, teams are competing to lose it like who's going to make the last mistake That's why I love red zone cuz even like at when they're the only game left they're like all right well we'll just start the afternoon games because this is no one cares <laughs> these dumpster fires All right so Lions at the Bears yeah Trubisky they need to just bench him and they will never live down taking Trubisky trading all those picks and then just the to Bears. just to get like the worst I worst keep, quarterback out I've of emotionally class. sold myself on the Bears so many times this fucking year. Fuck the Bears. They got a good defense, bro. Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> Fuck all of them. But they have an idiot head coach and a terrible offense. Yeah, and Why I, wouldn't I, you I move the ball Nagy closer? Good, right? Yeah, oh. move the ball closer. Bench Trubisky. Oh, dude, that loss. Oh, man. Was that this past week? Or yeah, was that... yeah. Yeah, dude, I... I... And I and I picked against the Bears, and I was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe that just happened." I wasn't even like happy I got the win. I was just shocked, shocked, and elated because like they they dinged it again, they doinked it again. I can't believe it, man. They yeah. will never be able to get a kick. They need so. to blow it up and You're start going with it the all over. Yeah, I'm going with the Lions too. I, I like their wide receivers. They've been catching long passes all freaking all freaking season. And, yeah, um, they're the better team. Yeah. Bears have no reason to win this. Probably will. Yeah, probably will, just because of everything you just said. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck the Bears. I was high on the Bears earlier to start this season. Yeah, I was kind of high on them, too. I thought, hey, Trubisky, another With year. With Montgomery, be better. like, the double-headed yeah. running back. I was super attack. high on Montgomery. I drafted him in, like, every single one of they my fantasy drafts. He averaged 28 points last year. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Fuck. I don't know what the fuck fuck is going on oh, man jesus fuck them blow it up blow it up mm-hmm. but i mean for them to fix this franchise i mean they have khalil mack they sold their souls for khalil mack don't fuck pass rushers and selling your soul for them that's what i think. what a fucking i've said it on the podcast before and I, who I like... looks who looks better now the raiders yeah who looks better now yeah that's why i kind of like the what Patriots have done, and what I think the Ravens also do, is back to front. Pay your corners, and then just fill in up front. They'll come. Cause They'll I think, get there. Because defensive line, you can play by committee. You can't yeah. play cornerback by committee. That's a one-dude on job. Shit. That's yeah, a one-dude no, yeah, job. They're rare to find. So you need that guy. Yeah. And, yeah, so. Deep safeties, corners, yeah, fuck no. Linebacker in core, fuck no. You'll find a pass rush. They come. Yeah, you can, you can, it's, you can win with a scheme, scheme more than you can. Yeah, exactly. Like, anything else right yeah no yeah selling is i mean how many sacks do elite pass rushers get a year exactly not much teens because they would they have to beat their man and you can always and it takes weeks sometimes for them to get him khalil Mack took like five weeks to get a sack the easiest way to get a blitz is to confuse the offensive line obviously there's a shit ton of pass rushers and almost in there but is that is it worth the elite money in selling the first no. rounders for him? No, I don't know. it's just too much money. It's not a good way to build a team. Yeah. It kind of hampers you and what you can do team building wise. And in a sport where cap is so important, mm-hmm. yeah, not Kaepernick, you know the money. Who's Kaepernick? Kaepernick? Those words will never be mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> no politics. No politics. <laughs> no politics. <sighs> Next game. <laughs> The R words, the Washington R words. Dude, the NFL blackballed him so hard. They did, though. and it's so true. Like that is definitely kind of real. Because like he's not a bad quarterback. Like think of all the backups and yeah. some quarterbacks playing right now. Trubisky. Do you think they'd rather have Kaepernick? I mean, play wise, he hasn't played in a while, but yeah, I mean, I, I imagine think... he's he's still in his like prime years, right? Yeah, he hasn't been playing. He hasn't been taking hits. Fuck, dude. Is the XFL called yet? I don't know. Ha- there probably there's probably a stipulation on how big the fro can be. It has to be like about three feet wide for him At to play least. in the XFL. It's a show. Because McMahon me, owns this. Yeah, it's, it's it feels a show. like it's supposed to be a video game version of like the NFL. Like, but not Madden, but like Street, like Madden Street kind of. We can't. Know. We we got to decide on our. our we got to study the league and decide on that shit during and the what off was season. It, the, the demons. I remember. I liked the demons. Their, their logo was cool. That's a cool one. That's a good one. But there's some players that I liked on some of the other teams, though, that I that I would root for, like maybe ex-Ravens players or 
They there's one team with that running back from uh, from the Lobos. Yeah. So Presley. I think so. I think yeah, that's Presley. Oh huh, yeah. I think uh, I think we'll decide in the moment when we watch them. We'll see it. We'll we'll know. We'll, we'll see. N- it. We'll know. Fuck yeah. All right. So next game we got is the Dolphins at the Colts. Dolphins coming off a win. Big they don't know win. how to tank. You know, dolphins win. sometimes live in tanks, but they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to tank. Yeah, you they, think they'd know? Do they have a winning streak in them? <laughs> do they? Do you think they can Fitz get two magic? Two, two in words. a row. Fitz magic. Two in a row. It would be so dolphins. They they what went seven and nine last year, and they were I felt like just as bad of a team. Gotta go Colts here. Yeah, I'm going Colts. For that. Yeah, gotta go Colts here. No, but way. is is uh, Brian Hoyer or is um, even with Hoyer? Dude, they look they're good. competent. Yeah, I mean, they look Hoyer's good. a competent they, they fucking. The he's Brady's favorite backup they've ever had. I remember, I was watching Red Zone and they kept going back to the game and it's like Hoyer drives him down in the Red yeah, Zone. No, what fucking, again? Yeah. So I picked up cool. Hoyer in one of the fantasy leagues because my other quarterback it, was yeah. on a bye. So. Yeah, no, I think uh, versus the Dolphins, just historically you gotta like go. You defense. gotta go with the better coach team, the better well-rounded team. The Colts are are very like the most well-rounded yeah, team. Yeah, I think good well-rounded team. So yeah, Colts there. They're gonna be a tough team to beat in the playoffs. All right, this next one, um, I I find this one tough to pick. The Rams at the Steelers afternoon the game. Steelers have looked a lot better in, in Pittsburgh. Around. Yeah. Jared Goff. Rams just came off a bye, though, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I'm going Rams on this one. This feels like a fucking... I think... Desperate, like, this. I think, of the two teams that's trying to be a real contender. It's Mm -hmm. the Rams. I mean, the Steelers are a tough pick there, too. At home. I think I might go Steelers. As much as I don't want to do it, I just think the Steelers... What they do have this year is defense, and they've kind of always had a good defensive line. Yeah. And I think you know this year is no different. Uh, definitely playing really well with uh, T.J. Watt and all the the band of brothers over there, mm-hmm. all, all the fucking nerds over there. And Jared Goff, he is really good under pressure. So that's true. Those are all really good points. I I just think more desperate team, hungry dog runs faster, and I think. Yeah, Steelers really in the long term. They, this is about the time they're about to get exposed because this is when the NFL sees it. November's when shit really starts to divide. Mm-hmm. And this is also partly a pick because last week and the week before that, where it was Steelers versus Colts last week, and I was like, all right, I feel like the Steelers have always had the Colts number, and I just decided, all right, I'm just gonna go with the, what I think the better team is. But my gut was telling me Steelers. Steelers yeah. And then the week before that, when they played the, well, uh, I mean, the Chargers. You can't blame yourself. Vinatieri missed the kick. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah, close, I mean, but you know, gut the, feeling. Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I've a lot. Of, I've noticed that a lot of my losses, especially the missed kicks, I've had a bad yeah. luck of missed kicks this year. Where there's it's been a like, lot of bullshit losses in the NFL. On this year. where like, I I felt like it was the right pick at the time, and then just the NFL happened in the last two minutes, I mean, and just they should have won. Yeah, two of them, right? Yeah. The Bears and the Colts. Yeah. And I picked both those teams. And Adam Vinatieri, like, yeah, oh, come on, yeah, so, I picked both teams too. And it's like, are you fucking kidding? Yeah. Me? So, it that that's just part of the the disease, you know, side effects. So, um, next game, Panthers at Packers. I think this is another good one. It's this is in be Lambeau. Good game. Christian McCaffrey, though, um, and you know the Packers MVP. They kind of, I, I he's putting up the numbers, man. MVP. As much as I like I Lamar, mean, I, I love know. Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, dude. Especially I haven't him like dude. haven't been two of my Talk fantasy about leagues. All like. around football player, that dude is just offense. Mm-hmm. He is fucking amazing. He's a white running back though. Dude, amazing. He's racist. But the Packers just suffered a brutal loss, and they're playing at home in Lambeau. But it's like, I feel like when a Packers get on either a good streak or a bad streak, I feel like it lasts multiple weeks, you know? Yeah, and then they go for like a while. Like, it's not a one-game slide. They go for a while. Or it's not a one-game I also one think their, their record is better than they really are. Yeah, their defense was kind of hyped. They were playing good at the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. I wonder if part of that is because of who they played, and maybe the NFC North kind of isn't what we all thought it was. 
you know, they've just kind of had a good record just because of who they've played. You know, I haven't yeah. really looked into it um, too much. You know, I, I follow the NFL, but I can't really, off the top of my head, remember who exactly they kind of played. But I feel like they've had a pretty uh, tough schedule. But then you lose to the Chargers in the way they did. It wasn't just a loss. It was a beatdown by the... Packers have the two same losses to the, t- Rivers. the Titans and to the Chargers, right? Is that the team that, that thumped them? That in in Lambeau. I th- I, I'm I going to pick the Panthers. I'm going to pick some Christian McCaffrey. He is going to win me a championship this year. I feel like everyone was saying the Saints weren't playing with um, pressure when Drew Brees was out. I feel like the Panthers really can share that narrative with Cam Newton yeah. now and Kyle Allen. But now it's official, so is yeah. The well, now there? yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think the pressure is on him. This is McCaffrey's team. It goes yeah, through that's him. True. And he doesn't have to be a truck. Yeah. He can be a trailer and or quarterback. Ron Rivera, I don't know if he gets as much love as the other 10 year coaches, but he's been there for a minute and he's yeah. brought that defense Good military, back. Man. I fucking like the Panthers in this too. All and right. I also want McCaffrey to fucking go off. McCaffrey got me like 40 fucking points. Yeah, amazing. Last week. Like 37, dude. I think, or something. I told crazy. you how in one league I have um, McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, and um, dude, that's... Fournette. Dude, those are like if you look at like the Russian yeah. leaders this year. Yeah. Oh my god. And at one point, I had Antonio Brown and Tyreek Hill, and I thought I was gonna have maybe the greatest fucking shit. But your wide receivers with all domestic violence teams. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, that was the theme. You know. I'm going for. You should have picked up Kareem. First Hunt. round abusers. Oh, see, that's something we forgot about the Browns. Kareem Hunt's coming back, and he's gonna kick some ass. If you know what I mean. Yeah, beat. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What do you do? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> and uh, Antonio Brown, he's trying to make a comeback. Ooh, hey, um, oh. <laughs> Did you see his Twitter rant? Telling yeah, the NFL fuck to go the NFL. Fuck, but but fuck I the NFL. really want to play in the yeah. NFL. Yeah, <laughs> also, yo, teams that are competing. Des Bryant said he wants to come back, too. Fucking Des. Pez Bryant. I don't know, like, I think it might have been in the off season this year. It's like, oh, Des Bryant in mid-season form, and he's, like, on the jugs machine, and he dropped, like, two in a row. <laughs> and then he's, like, making cuts, and he falls over. Classic. Classic Pez. Pez Idiot. Bryant. The Pez Fuck dispenser. Yeah. Panthers. McCaffrey. Going up there to beat that mustache. Panthers. McCaffrey. Panthers. McCaffrey. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, exactly. Are we about to break into a song? I think so. I wish Anyways. I couldn't have like musical like could literally break out in a mu- musical song and music came out of nowhere. People all joined of a sudden, in, and just like, people I don't even know just were like amazing dancers. The homeless dude is all of a sudden a ballet dancer. He starts tap dancing like there's yeah. no tomorrow. I don't think anyone would get anything done if we were all good at that. <laughs> yeah. I don't just think break out in song like high school I think, musical. Yeah, if we were all really talented, like if musicals were real and that was the real world. Hey, hey, get back to Cause class. Because you can just sing about it, anything. Like, oh, mm-hmm. you're pissed off and about to have a fight. We're gonna sing about it. <laughs> this day is the worst day. It's terrible, and I don't like it. Bum, 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 and then people bum, are coming bum, out, bum, yeah, and workers. What has this day come to? I don't know. <laughs> Break fuck out. this day. Fuck this day. Fuck this day. The worst day. Fuck this day. Fuck this day. The worst day. Fuck this day, fuck this day, the had a bad worst day, day too. Like some they other stay. stranger comes Mondays, in. Mondays, Mondays. Mondays are the worst. <laughs> I don't wanna go to work. Fuck my boss. <laughs> I am your boss. <laughs> yeah. I am your boss, and I hate this shit. <laughs> you suck at <it> job. <laughs> I think we just wrote a musical. Yeah. Boom. All it is is just walking down the street. Yeah. And it takes like <laughs> five, five hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> because that's how hours. long it would take yeah. if everyone just hours. broke out into song. song. And yeah. you know what's terrible is everybody would be in their own musical, yeah, so like, it yeah. would just be a jumbling yeah. mess. One half of the street. And resent you for not different. like. If they participated in your song, could you could you be in mine? And yeah, would be they wouldn't say anything, but they would like be passive aggressively looking at you as you had to leave, and then make another song. 
<laughs> what? You can't sing my song? I'm, I'm, I'm late. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna... What do you mean you can't sing, sing my, my song? song. <laughs> yeah, and then it's its own thing. And it goes on forever. And then he's mad about the he's song. Angry. So then there's a musical I've about... I've gotta go! I've gotta go! <laughs> there's a music about him being late, and then uh, a song about him. You won't sing my song! He won't sing your, your song! song? <laughs> he won't sing your song, and then it just goes forever. What do you mean, ever. Long John, <laughs> no. you won't sing your song? Anyway. He's always sing the song. So I think McCaffrey is, <laughs> so, is a good pick. So this is the reason <laughs> yeah. that the Panthers are a good pick. <laughs> I think that's really solid uh, road pick there. NFL 100, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, they they should totally do that at the end of the season instead of doing the like, like the players the video, top one hundred. Yeah. Oh, the music. NFL one hundred, the musical. I bet more than half the league wishes they are a rapper half the time. So yeah, yeah I remember in like one of the, uh, uh, what is it they do on like HBO Hard Knocks? I, one of the quotes I remember I thought was hilarious. I think it was Kendrick Lamar came to one of the practices and it was like every. Football player thinks they're a rapper, and every rapper thinks, thinks they're, they're a football, football player. player yeah. You see, they're showing so like true, yeah. B roll, so Kendrick true. catching passes. It's like, yo, bro, give me out here, give me the pads, and then you see all the all the guys just rapping around a circle. Yo, oh. I could play in the league. Yo, I could I could drop an album. Yeah, dude, <laughs> sure, man. Sure, man. There's everyone just getting high all the time. Have you ever, just, yeah. Did you listen to Le'Veon's album? I I still haven't. No, I I have listened to Damian Lillard's. Uh, Diss tracks on Shaq and Shrax diss tracks on him. <laughs> Ooh, Shaq that attack. was some of the best <laughs> rapping I heard all summer. It was amazing. I yeah, remember you showed Check me one out. of them and it's like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. <laughs> That's what made it so this good. This is why it's epic. Shaq, yeah. Shaq diss track Talk the about musical. Rich <laughs> petty Wars. <laughs> it's like, oh, Yo. No. I got Papa John's. Or, no, what is what is he on? Uh, yeah, I think Papa John's. He's Papa salvaging John's? Papa John's. They're yeah. like, Papa John's was a racist. Let's bring in Shaq. Peyton's <laughs> out. Bring in Shaq. Shaq. Yeah, get Peyton out. He tests high with the racists. Also, yeah. racists love Peyton. <laughs> We've got to get Shaq in here. Well, the numbers show that racists We're love Peyton to... Manning. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Not <laughs> everybody who loves. Peyton Manning is racist, but everyone who's racist this loves, loves Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the numbers are there. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Sounds 100% to me. <laughs> Went to Tennessee, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. He was he was dating the, the Tennessee chick, the drunk Tennessee chick. Oh, um, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Peyton dabbled in drunk Tennessee girl from time mm-hmm. to time in college. Well... We're now we're, we're just waiting for Cooper, right? Or the what, what's the kid's name? Arch. Archie. Yeah, yeah. Not the, even the Archie. Remake. Arch. Arch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 no. Arch. But it's Cooper's kid, so it's yeah. all like coming like the family lineage. But I'm actually, I I forget who I heard him say. It might have been part of my take, but they were saying. I'm kind of rooting for Arch to get to the league, and then when he gets to the league... You can't wait to shit on him. Fucking hate him. Yeah. And that's how I feel, because the wait. league is better when there's a Manning around for me to fucking hate. The league's better when there's a Manning to shit on. It's just fucking hate, because they're so full of shit. Hey, where's the shitter? Oh, there's a Manning. Just shit on that. Just shit on that, dude. Yeah, Shit on that man over there. <laughs> it's great. I can't wait. And he's he'll probably lose or to, like... I don't know. We'll see if he's an Eli or a Peyton... And Eli being the winner, <laughs> and yeah, Peyton is the loser. He's a coop. Because he's going to play probably Jack Brady. Yeah, and how old are Brady's kid? Does he he does, has like a 14-year-old, I think. Does he play football? I think his oldest one really likes sports. He has one kid who despises sports. Makes sense, though. So. Yeah. Probably like Mama's One of Philip boy. Rivers' yeah. kids, I don't know. Oh, dude, yeah. And then there's going to be a Rivers, too. And then there's going to be a Roethlisberger, like baby that he didn't even know about mm-hmm. from a drunk encounter <laughs> the bathroom baby, <laughs> baby yeah the bathroom baby, the baby makes yeah. a return who's gonna play for the ravens oh god <laughs> no tucker tucker has a kid and he's already kicking like killer crazy good goals. yeah but he's like five but he's gonna come into the league gonna be the best kicker he's gonna show up his first old daddy. kicker quarterback Ooh. has anyone done that i've heard a dual threat but i mean never that's this the best one. all the points are scored by me all wow. of them. <laughs> all, you would break all the re- like all the scoring records. Oh yeah, if you play quarterback like, and kicker, because all the kickers lead the, like oh, the every, NFL year, every year. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that would be crazy. That'd be fucking. Yeah, awesome. why is there no combo kickers in the league? I guess it's a tough position. I don't know. 
mental makeup. It takes real balls to punt and just <laughs> pussies kick field goals. Takes balls to punt. punt dude. <laughs> some, some dude in the back yeah, corner back, with a yeah, hood the on. Coach, yeah. What's the deal, man? <laughs> takes balls to takes punt. Takes real balls who to you? punt, kid. Who invited you? Bro? Yeah, who invited this guy? <laughs> and then he breaks out into song about punting. And then know. one guy is like, I mean, it does take balls to punt. <laughs> and just, he does have a point. I don't know who you are, but you got a point. Guy's got we a good point. do kick with footballs. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Coach, <laughs> we gotta hire. This is our new special teams coordinator. Mm-hmm. Punting's tough. Punting's a man's game. <laughs> Milkman came and <laughs> fucked your wife, and then punted, kicked in seventy-five ball. yards with five-second airtime. <laughs> Imagine like the dude, that, a character like Texan, way too hyped about punting. God damn! Did you see that shit? <laughs> That's five second hang time, 65 yards, holy fuck. That ball's got more hang time than my wife's titties. Dude, I love punting. <laughs> it's, it's the subtle art. It's a subtle art of the game. It's the game within the game, that field position. Yeah. So we still got two more games to go over. <laughs> but I want to talk <laughs> punting. Left-footed musical. kickers. Yeah. Oh, major I want to talk punting. Boom, kick it. <laughs> Punting's a man sport. Bro, 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 remix. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boom. Five yards. <laughs> 40 yards down the field. Oh, it goes. Oh, oh, Arcing oh. in the air. Oh, was, I don't know. I can't, oh, rap. Hit I it can't rap. Well, uh, I'm not oh, a football player, so I can't rap. That's true. That's true. All right, so work on our <laughs> another good game Sunday night. Let's get to this game and we'll go on another page. Vikings at Cowboys because speaking of Cowboys and punting, exactly. Hey, there's your through line. There's your there's, there's the your tie. segue. Remember when I was talking that bit? <laughs> Damn <Remember>? boys, <laughs> I remember. It's real stereotypical and get my ass kicked. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a tough one. I'm going to go with the Cowboys just for the sheer fact that it is Kirk Cousins in primetime. He's been on a roll. Oh, I didn't even felt that. Then, see, dude, in a weird sense, I, I think the Vikings are like a top five team in the league. Dude. Yeah, I think the Vikings are way better than the Cowboys. But, but they have one glaring, I, we've gone over this before, the big Pulp Cousins. Mm-hmm. He's like, I wouldn't invite him to a cookout. I would hang out with Philip Rivers because he's like a weird Christian normal dad, and I think it'd be fun. Yeah, he's got some jokes in him. Yeah, it'll be a fun time. He'll give me a ton of shit in a Christian, healthy way Cat that makes me some... feel positive about myself, give too. Give me some good material. Yeah. Like, damn, son, is that like a $10 haircut? I don't even know what that means. What the fuck did you but, just say? But, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's cool. Cousins would just, like, offer me Kool-Aid generic brand and no beer and he'd mix it right in front of you and like can i get some kool-aid and like yeah man and then he's like all right well where'd you go no ice yeah uh, but like tap water bad uh, yeah no uh, alcohol in the house i imagine he'd like he's got like five of the same shirt and that's all he has in his closet oh yeah know, just some and i just imagine sweaters. a real empty apartment just real a empty. blue no, 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 because I, I bet he has, like, a hot wife that, like, does all of that shit. But just for, like, the character that is him, like... He does have a side apartment that's got just, like, one, like, dope, dope lazy boy. That's all that's in there. A TV, and, uh, and he eats, like... And mustard only know. in the fridge. He eats hot dogs plain. <laughs> yeah, like, must- no mustard, only no mustard ketchup, no there. relish, yeah. no nothing. No bun. No bun, just hot dog. <laughs> water hot dogs. Yeah, as many as I want, no yeah. bun. <laughs> Like, he just throws a bunch in the water pot, and that's his protein with flat Kool-Aid. Kirk Cousins. I feel like he's got, like, <laughs> I feel like he's, he's such a weird dude that he's also into, like, BDSM for some reason. Oh, yeah. You like that? No, no, no. That he's, is such a BDSM he's thing a, to say. He's a peed-on guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a pee-on-me guy. <laughs> I mean, I, if I've ever seen a pee on me guy, yeah, yeah, I think you're onto something here. It's flat Kool Aid cousins, <laughs> easily. It, it's a no doubter. I don't know what the odds. Yeah, yourself. exactly. Why do you think he likes the big pulp? 
he wants to fill it on the other end. It's all just... It's, it's, it's a thing. So I'm going Cowboys. <laughs> no yeah. way, no way. As much as I hate rooting for the Cowboys... The worst. Especially with how many... Cowboys fans are... Dalvin Cook's awesome, though, man. I'm glad to see he's healthy yeah, and he, he crush it name. Honestly, like, Christian McCaffrey, he is producing the best, but I like watching Dalvin Cook almost yeah, more. The his way run he style runs, is so fun. explosive. So it, explosive. Yeah. It's like, he bounces off, and he's faster than everybody. Just a monster out the there, fuck? dude. Yeah, just give that guy the fucking ball. Give it a ball! Cook me up some yards, dog. Yeah. Dalvin he's definitely... Cook me up some raw hot dogs. He's definitely... At least finger blasted cousin's wife at some point. He he runs that team. He's, I think he's done more than that. Yeah, and he, <laughs> he he's run so much. I feel like he's ran a train on each and every single ask player's him, wife. Probably. I mean, he run deserves weekly. It. He deserves it. Some of them are offering it up. The smart ones. Zimmer threw a dip and was like, "All right, fuck my wife now." Oh yeah, no, and he watched and. Gr- he fucking gave critiques on his form. Going over the game plan. Yeah. And <laughs> with right. this spitter run. There. I don't think then Zimmer run Dalvin up the hole. is a spitter. Up the hole. I think when he dips, oh, I think he, he just fucking... Takes it like stomachs, a man. Absorbs yeah. it into his soul. Because he doesn't want to waste any tobacco. He's, like, really efficient that way. Mm-hmm. Like, the way he runs his team, he's not just going to waste a good nausea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a good oh, fucking God. gnarly ride. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I can't Good like, defense, I yeah. Can't, like, uh, yeah, solid defense and no spitting. The dip's like absorbing all the way straight to his like toenails. I don't know. It's like, uh. I, it, I don't see I feel like If dip- the Vikings do win, it's because he didn't spit and cook oh, ran it's because he big did trains. Spit. He's or supposed did. to yeah, spo- yeah. Man. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good game. I think Dalvin good, Cook goes yeah. off. I think the Zeke versus Dalvin Cook show. That's a good, that's I think a good he rushes line. for more ru- yards than. I think it looks better. Yeah, I gets think, more scrimmage yards by I say at least fifty. I, I, think, s- it, yeah. I think he has at least fifty more scrimmage yards. I definitely than think Zeke. it's going to be the Cook show, but I think it's going to be, you know, both running games being somewhat successful. I think the Vikings being more successful, but the Cowboys and the Vikings both. It's it's not you know dink and dunk. It's let's just fucking rip it down the field. Yeah, and I think uh, Kirk Cousins in prime time. He. The history the shows that, there. meh. So, yeah, di- hot dogs don't digest that late. No, and, and the cow, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's yeah. got to have his meal at three <laughs> thirty. Yeah, know. Everyone knows he eats them in the morning. <laughs> like he eats at like six forty-five. So shit him out before the game. Yeah, then, <laughs> or three thirty a.m. He doesn't miss his meal time. <laughs> <laughs> like if he's playing, like, like at that one o'clock time slot, oh, do yeah, I have someone on the sideline boiling some hot dogs for him? Up, yeah, eating them in the in, in the locker room, but he doesn't chew them and swallow them. He just he just sucks them Let's down. go play, boys. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? How you like that? <laughs> do you like that? Do you like, do you like that? that? No, we hey, don't. That's disgusting. How many times do you think he brings up that time he said that? And he went, brother. He's like, "Hey guys, guys, <laughs> remember that time? That's all remember he does. the time?" And it's like all, all he fucking he talks about. And Stefan Diggs is just there, looking at Thielen, like the dude this, doesn't have an original thought in his body. This fucking guy. They just look at each other like our GM has fucked us, dude. <laughs> fucking Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. Oh, did he show up as Captain Kirk? For Halloween again. Oh, uh, funny, Kirk. Good old you. Uh, Classic. And Diggs is like, all right, I need to get off this get fucking the, team. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Thielen's <laughs> like, I was undrafted. I can't do yeah, shit. I can't do shit, man. I'm the pride of this state. Dalvin Cook's like, well, I already ripped my leg, so. Yeah, and they're, I'm a running back. They're, I'm not, this is my one team. I'm on one contract. You know the Vikings, the thing that they do when they do the clap? Oh, yeah. I feel like that's Kirk Cousins' dance move. I, like, that's all he knows how to do. He just oh, like, he does that. Yeah. Let's hey, go, guys. guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the club. I'm at- he totally brings that up. Come on in. The water's in warm. warm. Yeah. <laughs> and he's doing, like, the clap, and, like, a couple of people are like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's and then the Vikings quarterback. And then, like, two hours oh. later, he's still doing it, and they're just like, F it. He's, up he's with doing the, that at the club, and like these chi- these group of chicks, are like I heard the Vikings quarterback is here. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's over there, and he's like, <laughs> "Come the on, guys!" 
and they're Woo! like, oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go. Uh, Where the twins were the also basketball in town. players. Yeah, we're gonna go see if the basketball <laughs> players are here. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's just Kirk Cousins and his O lineman. Yeah, we're gonna see if the twins are in town. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna fly to Green Bay. Hang yeah. out with Aaron Rodgers. Rogers, yeah. <laughs> Is Aaron playing this weekend? <laughs> All right, so we got one more game. A football game, a national football league. Monday night. Ooh. Seahawks. Longest at running primetime show number one. Number they still one? number one. After like a jillion years. Number one Good side. Them. Garoppolo. Got 49ers Seahawks. I've All been right. looking forward to this game yeah, for this a while. This is going to be a good game. Do you think this is the time that, uh, that f- they fall? I've seen the 49ers. They not look play so good. dominant. I've seen them not look as dominant as they should. Um, the Seahawks, their offensive line, meh. Their defense, kind of meh. But Russell Wilson knows how to throw just Hall a, of a perfect rainbow toss to Tyler Lockett. And Tyler Lockett is the perfect adjustment wide receiver. He, he can adjust to any ball thrown in the air. And um, it's not. It's not. Moncrief, it's Metcalf that they have, mm-hmm. who's had his moments this season. He's had some clutch catches, especially. Yeah, he also had that fumble against fumble, the Ravens, yeah. where he was just trying I to. I remember switch we were hands. watching that like, here. Yeah, we were watching that he here. He just fumbled it. Oh shit. Uh, God, this is t- part of me is just pulling to say the Seahawks. Do you think? Well, first, before we pick, do you think this is a high scoring or low scoring? It's got to be a high scoring game, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like this is one of the... It's, I think it's supposed to be high scoring, but it's like where the NFL just says, all right, go fuck yourself. 49ers have a good defense. Uh, the Seahawks, I could see them just showing up what out of nowhere. What do you think the over-under is, like, 48? I don't know. 47, 48? We can is, check. I think it's, guess. it's probably That'd be 47 my guess. Like, half. thinking each team's going to get about 24. Let's see if I can pull it up. I haven't been able to bet on my bookie because I lost all my fucking money on it. See, my thing is, I've bet against the 49ers a lot this season. Thinking each week is going to yeah. be the week. And this is the week. Yeah. This is the one. So, that's going to burn me. All right, let's check these odds, bad boy. Uh, oh, oh, 47 and a half. I nailed 47 it. 47 and a half. Nailed it. All right, we were right on the 40. I bet that gets to 48. You think it keeps going up? Yeah. Yeah, because the Seahawks, they just had that shootout with the Bucks. But, I mean, the Bucks they're an explosive offense when James oh, yeah. doesn't well, pick it up. Throwing throw it pick. away all the time, yeah. And the 49ers, they're, the, the only times they score big is when they're just destroying the team because they're yeah. built on running yeah. the ball. But they did just get Emmanuel Sanders, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the 49ers. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I gotta go 49ers this. I can't... I'm not gonna go bold this week. Yeah. They're just a really good fucking football team. Yeah, it's George... It's good to see the... Their, George Kittle is fun to the watch. The process come through in the NFL. It's cool. Teams can turn around so quickly in a matter of two years, three years. It's, yeah. It's, so it's pretty cool to see. You know, so you're thinking, was it the Jimmy G injury? Why they're all of a sudden relevant? Because Jimmy G's got a good record. Uh, I think that, and di- didn't they get injured all over the place last season? I honestly have no idea. And he lost, and Jimmy G went down early, and they just didn't look that good, and they were young, too, because got... all those guys were just drafted or in their second year. See, they got, yeah, a ton of first-round draft picks on the mm. defensive line, but this is kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier, how to build a defense. Yeah. They can't be good for long. Yeah. Um, you know, if this is their year, so be it. But I don't think, yeah. you know, once yeah, I don't, one of those I don't, guys, one of those first defensive linemen, the first first-round draft pick that they got, is like, oh, this is all me. I want to get paid. And they're going to command I don't really see sus- sustainability yeah. like two or three years. 49ers are still dominant. I mean, I'm not even really that confident they're winning the NFC. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, they'll probably feel, get the seed, but yeah, like the Seahawks. I, I mean, they're one of these any given Sunday teams. They they play every single game mm-hmm. close. It seems like. Oh yeah, they're a heart attack team and honestly, every time. They've been better away than at home. Like they, I think they have a better record. Oh yeah, they the twelfth man is not a factor anymore. Mm-hmm. There are people. A lot of teams are going in there and winning. Yeah, I like 49ers. Prime time again, a chance for them to show off. It's been a long time. I know they had a prime time earlier, but they're probably still soaking that in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because no one expected this, right? They yeah. far exceeded, I think, everyone's expectations. What, they got 4-12 and 12 last year? Yeah, this like, is insane I mean, who around. are the Brita, yeah. Mostert, yeah. Uh, yeah. Coleman? Coleman. Kittle's their yeah, Kittle. only all-pro on offense. And he's fun to watch. He's like the Dalvin yeah. Cook of tight ends. Dude, he, he's fucking the best tight end in the league. Yeah. I really like watching him. All right, so we're only different. All right, we're different on the Bucks and Cardinals and the Rams, Steelers, and the Browns, Bills. Okay, those are all going to be fun games. Yeah. Yeah, we, there's like on. six teams on by, so. It's Middle weird. of the season, yeah. yeah your Patriots are on by. Oh, um, are on by. The Eagles are on by. Oh God, bye week's the worst. It's it's weird. It's Glad the weird Ravens week. got it over with because yeah. now it's nothing but football till the beginning yeah. of February. But of all the weeks to have it, I like week ten because like that's the, the later meal. in season. Like the teams that have it, like week four, oh you're fucked. Yeah, unless you're also a same team that can get the first round by. Yeah. Um, well, that's why I I like it here because then they're gonna have another buy in about eight or nine weeks on top of this, so should be good. It's a fun football season. Every season's awesome. This shit's fucking the best. You know, I think it's we're starting to see the playoff picture come together. Oh yeah, um, yeah, and it's wanna... anyone's game. I mean, there's of the ten teams who wouldn't. Who would who do we think the top ten are? Yeah, I was just about to say, do you want to start like thinking, like start talking playoffs, like who we think are going to divisions, make the playoffs, yeah, or at least division winners, yeah, division winners. We we'll go fucking AFC North. We know who we're going there. Ravens got to win it. Yeah, Ravens. Pats yeah. in the East, so we'll knock that out. But in the the West, the Raiders aren't that behind the Chiefs. No, and the. Uh, Chiefs wants to get Patrick Mahomes back. I mean, yeah. that's that's when you'll be looking at that. But I think in the South, got to go Texans. See, I'm thinking the Colts. I mean, I love what Deshaun Watson's doing. Dude, he um, is something else. But I still just like the Colts. I just like their team yeah. build. Better all-around team. and They're but a sound still. team. And how they win <laughs> is like... Late football winning. They run the ball. They'll mm-hmm. beat you with defense. And, like, the Ravens, they play the Texans and the 49ers uh, later on this year. Going to the 49ers game, which is going to be dope. But I'm more nervous about the Texans. Because, I mean, Deshaun Watson got kicked in the face, didn't know if he had his eyeball, threw a, threw a fucking touchdown. That's if I got amazing, an eyelash in my boy. eye right now, I would... All right, you, all right, hold on one sec. I'd pause this thing because I couldn't even handle it. <laughs> Dude, uh, anything near my eye. It took ah. me years to even put eye drops in. Terrified yeah, I, of it. I still struggle I'm with it. I'm a bitch about it. And this dude threw a touchdown. Running around, getting fucking beat up. Yeah, it's amazing. So he but, scares me, but I, the team doesn't scare me. I think either who, whoever loses this division gets the wild card between yeah. the Colts and the Texans. That's up for grabs. I think it's the Texans and the Colts are probably the five is is kind of what it's looking at. And then the six is probably Raiders. That's my playoff picture. So you got, picture, you got two coming out of the west and the south? Yeah. And then well, What Ravens, about the Bills? That's... The Bills have a very easy schedule the rest of the way, and they're already six and two. Doesn't that just sound like the Bills are going to blow it? Like you just said that they yeah. have a very easy schedule and they're six and well, two. It, it sounds like they get to the playoffs and then they just blow up. No, I the guess last that time they were in the playoffs. I get uh, a couple of years ago when really? it was like nine and seven, they lost to the Jags. Hmm. The yeah, I don't even remember it. <laughs> yeah, they lost to the Jags in like a low scoring game. It was like ten six nine six. I mean, the Steelers so. are four and four. If they win, they're also they're at the same record as the Raiders. But. I'm thinking six best teams, AFC. Just six best teams? And the teams that I think make it. I mean, 
if the Raiders don't, then yeah, it's the Bills. But I, I, I like the I, I like, like the, the Raiders, Raiders more too. Than like they're they're a good all around like, team too, and yeah. they just survived that rough road fucking trip. Yeah, if the Raiders were to play the Bills, I'd be picking the Raiders. Yeah, so that's kind of my opinion on that. If the Colts were playing the Raiders, the, I think I'd pick the Colts. I mean, Cincinnati just changed at QB, so don't sleep on them. Yeah. They could go on a run. End 8-8. Eight and 8-8, eight. Eight eight eight, just run the table. Hey, mm-hmm. everybody else loses. Run the table. Don't be a bitch. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do All right, it. let's check out NFC. Do it. All right. Yeah. Ooh. So, the East. Ooh. The East is really tough. I think it's definitely a two-team race with the Cowboys and the Eagles. The Eagles are just too streaky, and the Cowboys, it seems like they like to lose to teams like the Jets. Like, where did that come from? Yeah, that was embarrassing. You know, you can you can hype up the Cowboys. They can play as good as they want for the rest of the season, but it's like you still lost to the Jets. You know, good teams don't lose to a dumpster fire. It looks like it's a two-man race in each division. This one's a lot more up, to, up for grabs. I guess... This one is probably uh, least West likely. Might have three. Yeah, West has three of them. But sticking with the East, yeah, I agree. It's probably going to be the Cowboys. But Eagles, I mean, they might be a six. They're probably going to be a classic Eagles. But uh, this is so stacked. End. Where? Yeah, this is going to be a lot closer down. All right, down so who's way. your favorite team in the NFC? Um, I guess personal i fucking really love the vikings outside of all that cousins shit that we were talking earlier like just one player away yeah i like i like the saints i mean if they can yeah they can win have got to be with teddy bridgewater with big dick bridgewater (laughs) dude i the panthers are a wild card team there but saints are definitely going to win that division Mm mm-hmm 49ers, I think they have such a lead. I think they're going to... So, do the Panthers have a better record than the Seahawks and the Vikings? Yeah, at the end that, of the they day, would have no. To, they would have yeah, to beat both those teams. at the end of the day, the no. Playoffs. Hell no. And looking at it, I didn't even realize, if the Seahawks win tomorrow, they're 3-0 and in the division. Shit. And that's going to be huge. That game is huge. Or not tomorrow. I keep thinking... Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Monday. Um, damn, that game is gonna be awesome. Yeah, so they'd be eight and two, and the 49ers would be eight and one, and three and zero oh in the division. So that's still really up for grabs. But I think the 49ers probably pull it out in the end. I don't know. This is. I mean, this this win streak they've been on is kind of unseen. What if they just go on a, a losing unforeseen streak. losing yeah. streak? I mean, we really don't know. This isn't a team that's. You, you can't say well historically they've, they've, they've done here, it. Yeah, you know? that's a great point. And then the Rams too. They're they're still sitting at five and three. I mean, it's they're only... not done. Yeah, no, no, no. But they're kind of a little fucked at the zero and two in division. Yeah. Looking at it, the only team that looks like they have it locked up is the Packers. Seven and two. I mean, six and seven and two though. at three and zero oh in the division. They probably get in. At like the three or four seed. Yeah, the Vikings they like to give a letdown. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, the Packers just did too. The one seed is going to be the Saints. Yeah, I, I think like Saints, Forty ers Yeah, that's probably the one and two. Packers, three is Seahawks, next. Vikings. Is that did I name six or just five? Five. I didn't. And then, I know that I think the Cowboys might win the division, but let's just put them at the sixth seed. I <laughs> they are the six, yeah, yeah. Four division winners. It looks like is going to be Cowboys, Packers, 49ers, Saints. Kind of where it's listed at now. Yeah, and then yeah, it. What sounds right is Seahawks, Vikings as the wild cards. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm a believe like we like we were saying before, Christian McCaffrey, the man. But I mean Can he carry them all the way? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to see their schedule too, because they're gonna need some losses. They're already behind I guess one game to the Vikings. When to cover the Seahawks. Yeah. Miami's gonna make the most historic run and then host it, the Seahawks. I would Bowl. love to see it. What? Fuck sports are they awesome. Got one Fuck win? Yeah. Are they <laughs> yeah, one win. They're above the Jets. Because <laughs> they beat the Jets. Dude, the Jets are 0-4 in the division. Oh, 
Oof. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a dumpster fire. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Those people have a disease. Jets fans. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I feel bad. There's so many franchises. You know how, like, there's different kinds of cancers? Mm-hmm. Those people have Jets fandom. <laughs> And it's a specific oh type. It's my. an aggressive form. But yeah. we need to treat it right away. Dear God. You've got an aggressive form of sports disease. <laughs> disease and it's uh, uh, Jets. You've got Jets football. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear oh, God. God. Oh, God. Is, is that God. bad? Yeah, you're positive. Oh, God. Oh, my. Is that a good thing? We're going to need to uh, get you down to the ICU right away. <laughs> I see you, Jets fans. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, that was a long and uh, that's good. Very well talked about episode, I guess. I don't know. That, that's... I'm glad the Pats lost. Yeah, that's, that's in the like... hundred years Woo! of football, only one team's started beginning to end undefeated, and they only played like twelve or fourteen games. So losing's for winners. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to end on that now. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for coming on yet again. Oh, tell them your Twitter if you want people to follow you on Twitter. I have like a hundred and something subscribers now. Oh so shit! I'm oh, hitting the big time. Big time. You've got clout. I don't even know if I can talk to you. You know. Oh, dude. Yeah. No, I'm going on there and commenting on. All... There was one earlier actually. I've been thinking about commenting because I saw what you wrote about how you drafted or had a mock draft for the guy getting the picks. Oh, no, not, see not the guy getting the picks. It was the guy who caused the pressure, Max Crosby. That was that's one of my guys. That, that's what it was. Oh, you'll see it later when it is because I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> I got to promote it because, man, I was right about a lot of people. Promote the, the brand. Yeah. Fuck, so, you put in the work. So, yeah, uh, thank you people for listening. Follow me on Twitter at Craven Some Raven. It's spelled weird, so just look up Craven Some, Some Raven. The same name as the YouTube. You'll find me. It's the same logo. Um,. Yeah, with that being said. You uh, all have a disease, and it's awesome. <laughs> have a disease Sunday. Yeah. Just... Enjoy your sickness. It's the <laughs> best. All right.